Alright, quick announcement before the vid starts. If you want the chance to win an HVLE test or access, join my Discord in the description and follow the steps. Alright, what's up y'all? Welcome to the setter build video. So basically, there's not a lot of setter builds that I really recommend. There's probably like around three that are really good. So yeah, the, so the first one, uh, it's 6-2 grounded sets broad range. So you're gonna see uh, the, the broad range a lot in this video. But <coughs> for the height, I really recommend going either uh, in between 6 foot and 6 four. So it's really the best heights for setter. Because you're gonna have lots of receive, lots of blocking hitbox, uh, lots of setting hitbox, which is the same as as the spiking hitbox, and yeah, you could you can do pretty much anything which you really need to do if you have uh, if you're a setter. So yeah, let me show y'all uh, grounded what grounded sets does. So basically, grounded sets basically makes your your ground sets go higher and slower. So let's say I use seven, look how high it goes. Instead of if I don't use the arc. It goes like this. If I use the arc, it goes like this. So it's way easier to uh, to uh, green set uh, to green spike the sets if it goes like that the, uh, this high, and it's a ground set, so it's really easy to cover. So you can set hop uh, like a good oppo up tilt like this just by standing on the ground like this. So yeah, honestly, really cool, um, really good uh, subspec in my opinion. A lot of setters uh, should really switch to that subspec because it's really good in my opinion. Uh, yeah, but br a broad range is basically makes your setting hitbox bigger. It's the same as the spiking hitbox. So if you have bigger spiking hitbox, your setting hitbox is bigger too. So that's really good. So a broad range is good for setter too. So it's really underrated in my opinion. So yeah, let's go to the second build. Okay, so we have our second build already. So the second build is once again between six foot and six foot four, a uh, broad range and athletic fast approach or strong core it's really those three uh, that I recommend with the broad range uh, the broad range the trait so one of these three makes uh, broad range really good and it's really good for a setter too because you're gonna be able to to jump higher for block um, you're gonna have more jump power yeah you're gonna have more top hitbox to set uh, you're gonna jump uh, jump way faster to set the ball so honestly Really underrated in my opinion, but it's not as good as the two other that I'm, uh, that I'm gonna present. So honestly, not really recommended in my opinion, but it's really one of the builds that are really good for setters. So if you're really offensive, I would recommend these two. But honestly, I don't really like this combo for setter. It doesn't bring out anything really to the spikers. It's more like an individual uh, build kind of for setter, more uh, more offensive like spike, apes, dumps, etc., etc. Um, I don't really like it, but if you want to use it, go for it, honestly, because it's kind of good if you use it the right way. So, yeah, let's go to the third build. Okay, so let's go with the third build. So, again, between 6 foot and 6 foot 4, aerial sets and fast feet. Um, honestly, all of these would be pretty good for, for setter. Once again, broad range is there, but fast feet basically makes your walking speed faster. So let's say it's instead of being 16, it's 18. So let me just let me just look. You can see it's definitely faster. So honestly, if you don't have stamina, like when you're back row on setter, and then you gotta go front, then your walking speed is faster. So it's easier for you to set the ball. So it's kind of recommended for setter if you wanna uh, if you want aerial sets. But let me show y'all aerial sets. Honestly, one of the most used trait for setters. Look how high it goes. See, and that is insane. It goes so high, even with the down tilts. It help. It helps with the down tilts. I think. Let me let me see with a five JW real quick. So that's a normal five uh, six JW, and that's with arc. It goes fast. It goes uh, way 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 further. I mean, honestly, I kind of like it. It's really cool. So like, if you want to set oppo. Let's see if I up tilt it like this. It goes way higher than if I don't use any arc on it. So aerial sets are really recommended for setter because a lot of outsides uh, want their setter to have aerial sets basically. Because it goes so high and basically fucks the timing of the blockers. So it gives them way more easier uh, chances to score. So yeah, and fast feed once again makes you faster to go to the uh, for the sets. 
And honestly, I really like Aerial Sense. It's a really good trade for Setter and really recommended in my opinion. And if you want to toggle it, uh, once again, it's with B. It's with the B, uh, B keybind uh, on keyboard. I don't know about mobile or Xbox, so that's for you to uh, find out. So let me include one last build for this video and then we'll be done. Alright, for the last build, we have uh, once again six, uh, 6 foot and in between 6 4. Strong spin and any of these spinners. Honestly, for serving, if you want to serve, bro, these are actually really insane. I can show y'all everything, but look how. Oh my god, it spins so much. It's actually really good. Line spinner basically makes it so a corner PD doesn't exist when you serve. So it's really good if you want to tool the outsides on the line and the oppo. But the spin is actually crazy. Let me show y'all another spinner. Let me let me get let me get it. Side spinner. Okay, side spinner is actually crazy too. Y'all are not ready. Like look at this. It goes so far away. Honestly, really good if you want to serve a lot on setter. But if you aim, look at this. It's oh my god. It goes so far. Let me let me do it again. Watch this. I'm aiming there. And it goes on the corner. It's actually crazy. And now the top spin. Oh, I almost spinned it off. Let me try to get top spinner. There we go. Top spinner makes it so your top spin drops way faster. Let me show y'all. Oh, I didn't time it right. Whoops. So basically, it drops faster and stronger. So like, if you want to short serve, really good sub spin. So yeah, if you want to serve a lot on setter. Honestly, these are recommended a lot. It was really meta uh, in Season 2. So yeah, these are the four set of builds that I recommend. Alright, see ya.